Anti-mage. You may now select your heroes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game. Going to do some quick. Battle. Oh yeah, one thing uh, that is so new to my casting is I just found out that there is such thing called the assistant camera. I I mean the assisted camera. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I have been using my own camera for like for four years. Uh, let's take a look on this one. Oh, seems like I was trying to do some some intro here. The Radiant, uh, Infamous on the Radiant, a Papita on Queen of Pain, in uh, Schofield on Sand King, Old Stinker on Abaddon, uh, Axel GD on the Winter Vibrant, and Kithrim. Uh, yeah, Kithrim on the uh, Antimate for the Diary on the Diary side. Uh, TNC on the dire side, 1437 on Skyrod Mate, Tims on Clockwork, Coco on Medusa, Raven on Turtle Blade, and Sam Edge on the Batrider. It's it's gonna be awesome. Thirty seconds to battle. A wyvern's breath. Oh, gonna be a fight right from the start. Axel GD being hunted down by Team TNC. Pop the berry at salt. Well, that's a good way to say hi, my Team TNC. Be like. Hey man, how you doing? You got some bread? Now here we go, Kithrim. It's gonna be a fight uh, at the rune. Uh, it seems like DNC kind of greedy. Want to go for a three rune? Burl strike on top. Oh, Schofield just pick up the bounty rune, so it's gonna be three rune by Team Infamous. Well, that is a small good start by Team Infamous, isn't it? Infamous. These two teams, if you just tune in to the stream, this is MDL Macau. People saying this is the land of gambling. You wanna go, you know, or, or I tell my friend, hey man, I'm going to Macau. And my friend always saying like, yeah man, kinda cool. Come back with a new car or something. Yeah. Anti-mage, taking a lot of damage, and going for a scope field. Dropping quite low, half HP already, he burst right out. Damn it. Doing pretty okay. This is gonna be quite hard lane for anti mate as Team TNC wanna put the pressure on this lane. Spamming the uh, Arcane Bolt. Top lane. Old Stinker. Abaddon. This is Teleblade. Middle lane. Papita. We're in a pain doing pretty okay against the Cuckoo. I think we should focus on the bottom lane. <laughs> oh, somebody teleport to the top lane. It seems like uh, DNC wanna um, 
adapt into a 212. Having a 212 lane, the good thing is the you're gonna get more experience than your opponent that play uh, 311. Well, but the condition is you gotta stay alive. Pick up the body room. The damage as well. I might try to do something in the middle lane. Tim's coming in at level two. He got the very saw and the power cox. If he can lock down the Queen of Pain and power cox, that would be great. Going in for Tim just to harass. Um, not so serious. But Queen of Pain only do some bling and lock down Queen of Pain in the power cox. That's gonna be the first one. Tower shooting on and burst strike. Right. He goes down, but that is definitely worth it. Let's see if Cuckoo can get away from this Axel GD teleport down and shooting some of, of the Arctic burn. Few hits away. That was pretty good gang. I didn't expect that Queen of Pain just gonna go down like that. One for one. Oh, going in for the Batrider. Anti-Mage. Getting mana burn. It's gonna be quite hard for Anti-Mage as that Batrider keeps spamming. Oh, middle lane, I'm sorry, I missed the kills over there. It seems like Papi, they're just diving inside and get the kill out of that. Uh, locked out that Anti-Mage in the power cox. Keep on spamming sticky Narpen to annoy him. Catherine, such a hard lane for him to farm. The only Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower Leading on the last hit attack. is actually a bad on, on the top lane. Go for trying to do something around here. Need to be careful if he's not ganked out of Medusa and he come down and feed Medusa. anti major actually goes down at the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, it's such a hard lane, you gotta deal with uh, a lot of um, sticky nerfing. Four and a half minutes. Bad and dropping quite low, they're trying to catch him. In the illusion. Oh, man. Sorry, I kinda of miss the all these kills in in the in a Alright, I'm trying not to miss more. That that's my apologies. Yeah, at least I'm not gonna miss this one. So G D. Dropping quite low for Medusa, running all mana, and that is a good gang for the in Infamous. Don't forget that Infamous never win Team TNC before in a part 3 match. Well, maybe I have, I'm gonna need some time to get used to these kind of high tech camera. For the clockwork. You take a look at the roots of Tim's that roaming around this game, you see that he he's he's all over. Back off. The map. Catherine. Might be something happens around here. The as team infamous looking to die. Go field. Teleblade just teleport back to the bottom. Jumping in for Catherine, pick up the body rune and trying to get away from that Tim's. Pain. Cool. Pain without consequence. Cool, cool. Nothing much happening for now. It just it, it, we are still in a laning phase. In the latest patch, 
the landing phase is the most important thing. Going in for puppy, huh? Teams might have to come out. No. I think that power cost just to burn mana. Back to the bottom lane, three heroes of team and TNC trying to push to the tower. Tower shooting on that dragon. That's a net worth. Leading in terms of net worth for the third blade. So um, the Filipino supporters still uh, can have like a cup of tea for now. A pizza in the middle. I, I I started to worry about him in fame and it seems like they, they kind of failed to to secure their their hard carry lane. You know, Antimate stuck in the power cost is gonna get the limit back. Oh no, the bird will strike inside. Antimate, here comes the Queen of Pain, suddenly chose up in here. Sonic Wave is ready, finally a Sonic Wave! And then Sam Edge has gone down. Nice save by team Infamous. First thing that Infamous need to do is they need to secure their um, some place to farm for Antimate. It seems like Antimate is just like a nomad guy, like he roaming around trying to find some place to farm, and everywhere he goes, TNC put a lot of pressure on this hard carry. He's a taste of the hard carry. Gyrat mate looking to ganking inside. Schofield's a target that only got around like 25% HP. They start off in a very easy kill by 1437. Nice gang, and they're just gonna take out a tower as well. There's nothing much but Peter can do with that. He always uses ultimate. Bomb lane Abaddon. Oh, stinker. Back to middle lane. Radiance middle tower has Blowing down and just gonna go straight for the Winter Wyvern. That's a lot of damage. Raven. Gonna get Burrow Strike inside, a Papita. A silence on Schofield. Uh, a little bit too deep for Schofield. Raven finally finished off that Axel GD. But he's dropping quite low as well. He already used his ultimate. He used the Thunder to gain some HP. Schofield will surely go down because of that. Schofield gonna turn it back. A cool, cool predator shooting some snake. Oh no! Six to five. Not bad this game. We got like 11 kills in around like nine and a half minutes. And that is not even done yet. Uh, Papita, Burrow Swite just to save the mid laner. Going in for Cuckoo. Split shot. Uh, one, two. Nope. Just now, yep, that was the raindrop by the, um... I bought these items a lot. It actually saved my life so many times, especially in early game. Ten minutes, but let's take a look at some graph. Uh, it seems like Infamous surprisingly doing... Uh, slightly better than TNC in the first 10 minutes, a 6 to 5 game score. But Peter finished off the, that Raven in the middle lane. But we, let's take a look at this, the date of the Winter Wyvern. He's trying to fly away, but nope, you're not gonna run away from the sticky nerve. You know, Paint is gonna go for the next item, build his core. Where is my Antimate? Antimate is right here. Trying to find some space to farm, attacking on the party right now. Radiance top tower is under Back to the top lane, Sam Edge not looking good, not so healthy. Eat a lot of junk food indeed. Old Stinker goes go straight inside. Just gonna teleport. It's not enough damage to take him down before he teleport away. Back to the middle. Cool, cool. Hello, hello? Yeah, my mind working fine. Are they gonna dive in? If he can land a good barrel strike on the Eternal Blade, they definitely gonna get a kill on that. At the same time, Tim comes in and trying to save the hard carry. Barry Assault activated. In. Top lane pushing inside, that old stinker. Dire are Going for the Blightstone and the Facebook. 
I thought you're gonna go for something like hand of magnets for more farming rate. Seems like he's just gonna go straight to a radiant like that. Oh stinker. Level 8. TNC must defend this tower. Teams. If, if you take a look at the stat TNC, you see that their playstyle has adapted into a super aggressive playstyle lately. Especially in the latest part. I, I remember there was a time. Oh, now look at that. Bottom laner diving inside for Tim's. That's what I'm saying about super, being super aggressive play by Team TNC. 7 to 7 game score. They might try and take down a tower as well. But somebody teleport now. It's gonna be Winter Wyvern jumping and doing some scream of pain, shooting some mid -file. Damn it. Is he gonna go in? Sam Ed seems to go for something like the um, Bat Rider Chinese style. I mean, playing Bat Rider going for a drum first to increase stats and movement speed instead of rushing a blink dagger. The guy who invent uh, this kind of Bat Rider is actually Yao. Say hi to us. Guys in the chat room, this is MDL land, but we are casting Remolate from, um, well, I'm casting from Bangkok, Thailand. Land of Smile, they say. Radiance top tower is under Doing some smoke for the infamous Axel GD. Hasunate Miku. They must start with a burst strike. Right? Nice setup. It's gonna be the date of 1437, very easy. But Peter is on dominating. When you play a Queen of Pain, it's really, really important for you to get that kind of the momentum, the snowball. You must snowball in order to get more experience. Might go in for that skill field. Slowing down with a sticky knife on BP. Oh! Burrow Strike at the same time with are using Flamey Lasso can actually stop that one. But tried. Sam Edge. <laughs> I can see that he, he's kind of hesitated just now. Go field. Dyer's middle tower on the way attack. to a blink dagger, he really need around like 1.2k gold. Radiant's Once he got a blink dagger, it's gonna be much, attack. much better for Team Infamous as Schofield is the only initiator for Team Infamous. Running a silent ancient seal and dropping a mystic flare. Can he jump away? He's still kind of like oh, spiking because of the battery at all, but he's still slowed down now because of the uh, no way. That's another good gank on the Antimate. He died for two times already. However, Antimate's already got his Bow Fury. Going in for Cuckoos. Slowing down with the Arctic Burn, but Scorfield doesn't have that enough uh, HP to do something. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Abaddon definitely going straight for the Radiant. Back to the top lane, Axel GD Hatsu. Hatsune Miku <laughs> Brought down on by Kuku Who got two kills Went for the uh, schematics 15 minutes part in the game I'm gonna show you guys some items update That is the items We're gonna get the first 10 kills Who knows Infamous might Radiant's get like two kills in one fight <laughs> Two Mask Manis on TNC side, uh, Raven and Cuckoo. <laughs> A jury of my peers. Dan King, as I mentioned earlier, you really need a blame doctor for it. Uh, in order to, in modern Dota 2, I think it's kind of important to have like two initiators in one team. 
In this case, uh, TNT have the clockwork and the bat rider. It's so easy to play with two initiators. I mean, if one guy cannot open the fight, the other guy still can do. Damage being chased down by that kid frame. Mana boy to finish him off. That's another. That's actually the first kill for the anti -mate. Raven. Decent farm by Raven, but still, anti is the best farmer in this game. On the way to a yard shot. <laughs> People saying 9 9, game score on Monk Cuts. Cool one. Catching on a cool cool miss a barrel strike. What Schofield gonna do? The supporter of Cuckoo is right here jumping in for the bat rider. Flaming lasso drag back to Cuckoo Predator. Keep on shooting on him and running out mana already for Schofield. And a kill feed to the bat rider. And it's just gonna use this opportunity to push the bottom lane. Instead of going for the Radiance, Old Sinker going for something to throw Crest. So he can stay longer in a team fight. And maybe save Antimate with that. Back to the bottom. Burrow Strike maybe. Just starting off with a Burrow Strike on Creeps. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It feels like Schofields are playing a little bit weird in, in today. Normally, he will always... He, when he plays Sand King, he's actually the signators of the South America Sand King. You know, all the Taco Sand King. Mr. Hookshot trying to lock down the tail frame in a power cost and now jumping in for the Queen of Pain. It's a fight between Batrider 2-1 already. Maybe fall back a bit. That's the first hint he goes to Team TNC. Dyer's the game just becoming very, attack. very tactical as that anti Blinking around. TNC unable to stop this guy from farming. But hard for him. Mega kill! A Pika. <laughs> On the mega kills right here with the help of that Sand King T tools. Sorry, I'm gonna show you guys the fight recap instead. 300 gold. Oh, Blade Mail! Cool, cool. Interesting. Burrow Strike inside, almost died for Schofield. That's one hit by that cool, cool. Can easily bring down Schofield. It's gonna keep on pushing. Bottom tower Not sure attack. what's the idea behind that blade mail though. Blinking flame lasso got the support or winter vibrant. But let's see how they're gonna fit this that winter vibrant for and brains. Nope, he's just gonna use the um winter's curse. Trying to save himself from harm. Not gonna make it. This is so obvious that Infamous lineup doesn't have a good initiator. I mean, they only have one initiator, which is the Sand King. Abaddon can only just run in and tank all the damage. I'm not sure if that's enough. Of the Blade Mail from Medusa, U Scepter. Comes out, just gonna keep on shooting Old Thinker. Turn on his ultimates already. Old Thinker. I mean, sticky up. They are just too strong for Team TNC, and they're just gonna dive in for more. Schofield, uh, they're trying to give some vision with that, with that um, heat seeking missile. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The crowd shows that the game is still pretty even for both sides. 10 to 12. Top lane, Catherine. 
Let's see how they're gonna deal with this hero. The anti -mage. The only way to deal with that anti is to end the game early. To end the game early, you have to clear all the out tower, like all the six towers, get the uh, get the ages, and then try to high ground. Put the pressures on that uh, anti -mage. force him to go back and defend. Already got a Manta style right here for the infamous. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top middle lane, middle side. Oh man, this guy is really annoying. It's like he just like every time that team infamous trying to approach him, he's just gonna go on blade mail. Anti mage. Spamming sticky up, I'm trying to get away from the bat rider. That made him so it's just like a girl. <laughs> like when when you try to approach her, she always like put on the blade mail and just chew chew you away. Just like that. Gonna fall off, gonna go for a next item, the um Hurricane Pike. Please range. Radiant's top tower is under this, gonna, this is gonna be a very Dyer's hard game for both teams. Turtle Blade with a Meta Style and Power Trade, that Mask of Madness. Until the big team fight 5v5 happens, it will be even game, like anybody's game. Radiant are scanning. We haven't had the um, 5v5 fight in this game yet, so we might have to wait for that. Catherine just gonna keep farming all over the map. He's level 18, getting close to 19. And he's going for the Lincoln Sphere to be safe from the Bat Rider. Tis mine. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Double damage. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Got right, mate. Now finally a big team fight happens and Catherine, nice catch by the TNC. He's just gonna jump in and catch him, flaming last one. And the TNC going straight for the Roshan hit. Well, after this game, we are we gonna have like nine games today for BTS two. After after the first four matches, it's gonna be your favorite caster or the pixel. We're gonna take over Winter Vivan. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's oh, Stinger. Has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower 25 under minutes attack. in. Still pretty even game. Medusa. As I mentioned earlier, I think TNC might have to start doing some objective. Giving a space for anti mage and time for him to farm is not a good idea. 3.1k gold in his pocket for Medusa, Cuckoo, the Predator. Antimate on the way to a Lincoln Sphere. Once he got a Lincoln Sphere, he can be safe from that Bat Rider. Uh, it seems like Bat Rider is the only threat for him. At the moment, the flaming lasso just stop him from blinking away, and then the rest is TNC is spam all the mystic flare. Invisibility. Go field. Game becoming a very very tactical game, and Team Infamous already realized that they're doing 
not doing so well in the laning phase. Now look at that in the middle. Burrow striking. Tims trying to go for the barrier assault. Can somebody save him in there? Power Cox has been setting up. Uh, Sam Edge going in with a firefly and flaming lasso. But that was uh, the, the counter on the flaming lasso once again. Jumping inside. Burrow trying to get away for the scope field. Uh, he tank a lot of damage for Sam Edge trying to walk away. But he kind of stuck in the window. Curse everyone's just attack on him. Hey, mate, uh, this is your friend. He said. Uh, oh, mate. Nobody cares. Dropping some Mystic Flare on O-Sinker. Nice catch up by Team uh, 1437. Finally, a big team fight that TNC need to peel the pressure on Team Infamous. You can't let that anti mate farm like that. TNC. Keep going. They got an Aegis though. They should use that Aegis to take at least this tower or maybe try to high ground. Is under attack. Catherine, about the blade mail, you don't want to mess with that Medusar, man. Really. I was so hype in the start. I was like, wow, this game gonna be blood bath. But yeah, it's turning into a really good game, a uh, high quality game, a full tactics. Take a look. This is a map control of Team Infamous. They put the watch here and here. Control of Team TNC. One in the Radiant side, and one in the Dire. Interesting. Whole team smoke. They are up to something around here. Going in for the bat rider. Trying to catch Oh, a Lincoln's once again uh, using the flaming lasso on the Lincoln's fear target. Uh, anti mage. Gotta be fine right there. Turn on the Mander style and let the illusion do the job. He will stop dropping some mystic flare. Anti mage jumped away once again. Let's see can they hunt down that anti mage. Two, three, one. And to another blink. Uh, and Kuku cool, cool, him off. Go feel on Dyer's top. top tower is under attack. 600 gold earned for Team TNC. To the middle, right here, Ancient Sealed. Silence. Make a kill already for Cuckoo. They can kill around, man. But you gotta do some objective. No anti mage, no Queen of Pain. At least we have to force the buyback. No buyback. From Queen of Pain and the anti mage. This is your chance to get the tower for Team TNC. Let's see how Infamous is going to defend with only one guy. They started off with a Burrow Strike right there. Ancient seals on Abbott on top of the man, uh, ultimates already. Cuckoo using the rain, trying to take down the mid tier 3 tower. Schofield jumped in and using some Sandstorm right here. Trying to sort them all off. Not gonna help that much, to be honest. A hook shot kind of miss. Top lane, bad fighter killing the creep wave. On the way to a pistol blade uh, for anti mate. So it's gonna need that disable to kill um, the blade. Much there, bad rider. As I mentioned earlier, it's it's all about the map control now for Team TNC. They might have to play more aggressive ward uh, toward Team Infamous, trying to force that anti mate to play in a, a small area. Because as far as I know, he can farm all over the map. That's not a good idea. Anti mage 
I think with the Medusa missed the Burrow strike once again for Schofield, he might have to get away from the scene, but look at that. Arctic Curse comes out, everyone's just attacking on that clockwork, Splinter Blast, all the spells. Uh, Sonic Wave finally comes in with a scream of pain, Burrow strike, epicenter, all the spells on a small one. Uh, this is actually the first big team fight in this game. Uh, Predator Cuckoo in the middle of the team fight, shooting everyone with his split shot, and he's unstoppable right now, but at least the anti blade got away though. Raven with a double kill, this is time for Team TNC trying to take off the top tier 2 tower. Meanwhile, anti mate he dodged from the fight. Just like me skipping class. Calculus. Radiance top tower is under attack. Damage in the middle. They just have to go up, you know, every time they get some killed, some tower need to be down. That's gonna be the racks. First set of racks go to Team TNC for sure. There's nothing much in Infamous could do about that. Antimate need to go cut the creep wave. Radiance top tower is under attack. It's so easy to spot a pro Antimate in top game these days. If that Antimate doesn't switch his power trade or doesn't <laughs> doesn't cut the creep wave when when your team is is being pushed, man, that. It's your minus 25 MMR. <laughs> Running out of mana is already for a cuckoo creator, but it doesn't matter. He knows that this is gonna happen, so the reason behind that blade mail is he wants to be more tanky, even though he doesn't have mana to use the mana shield. Because he knows he's gonna get mana burn from that antimate, so that's why he go for all the stuff, blade mail, kind of weird. Shoot, sight top white, and bow fly. You see how strong the anti mage is when your team already lost the middle racks, but uh, the network is still not bigger than 5k i mean normally when a team lose um a barracks it should be more than 10k i hate so what i'm saying is still got some chance in, in famous to come back of the black team bond flame lasso drag back to the mystic flyer very nice setup by the bat rider now he's gonna go for more that skull field in danger was slow down by the sticky knob and kill him off with the um firefly we kept six already for predator Ah, uh, actually, his name is Cuckoo. Dyer's middle tower is under Catherine. attack. Catherine. Do you know last year that I went to South America for the WESG casting? I went to Brazil. Man, I went to Sao Paulo and it was an awesome experience. The only thing I regret about that trip is I never get a chance to come out at night and go to some nightclub because Radiance I Middle think Valley. if you want to go to nightclub in Brazil, you're going to need some local guy to bring you, like your friend, your Brazilian Radiance friend. Uh, it, now look at that. Dumping in for the middle side. Of the blade mail, there's nothing much that Antimate could do. It seems like he doesn't have enough damage to take down any hard carries of Team TNC. Now Old Stinker goes in first. He doesn't have he doesn't have a radiance. Now uh, going in, Burrow Swipe, he misses all that that pretty much like the epicenter zero damage from the Sand King. A very good positioning coming out from Team TNC. Using some in and out tactic. Nice one. Has fallen. Going in for Cuckoo. <laughs> Worthy tribute. Oops.
I would say that that is a pretty good item choice for that Medusa going for blade mail at least you can Radiant stop that anti mage from attacking you for a while but it, and it's kind of annoying for anti mage like when when you jump on a target you expect to just use a mental star and blow him up right but no you jump on medusa you pop the blade mail you gotta find new target and then how when when you jump in you jump it your your blink is cool down you gotta walk to the new target and that when you walk you gotta deal with tons of damage coming out from the teleblade. Uh, this is this is why it's kind of hard for anti mage to play in this game unless he he unless he jump on something like supporter a very good indie item build from cuckoo dyer's middle tower is under attack use that Blade mail just to stop that anti mate attacking on him so he can have some mana left for the spell shield. Now, here we go. Bat Rider always attack from behind. Now he's on the high ground and ready to go in, maybe doing some flaming lasso. Still cannot make up his mind who was gonna do some lasso, but when he was kinda hesitated, uh, 1, 4, 3, 7 down already, and Swarfield uh, about to land another burrow strike right there. Bat Rider about to go down because of that dragon. Bat Rider, Sam is down. Now Axel GD finish him off. Suddenly Infamous is going to win this team fight. How is this happening? Burrow Strike comes in by the scope field. Uh, using Sprinter Blast. Now let's take a look at this one. Medusa running up on a mana void uh, by Ketrim. And they are not even done yet. Infamous Schofield is on the run trying to chase out that Raven. Burrow Strike already. Burrow Strike is gonna hit Raven. Tower Tier 2 is trying to chewing on him. He just gonna teleport away just like that. Ill Scepter to stop the teleport. And here comes the, the old Stinger and blow him up in the anti man. And that's it. Burrow Strike killing spring for Ketrim. Almost a triple kill. Oh, wow. Look at that! Medusa doesn't have a buyback. Whoever got a buyback need to buy it now because they are about to lose a mid tier, um, tier three tower and maybe a barracks too. Now here goes the barracks. This is gonna go in. Maybe a burrow strike. I think. Uh, Sandy tries to slow him all down with a um, hook shot inside. Uh, running out mana for the anti mage to slow him down. And Chen Seal comes out. Another black king buy has been popped by Sandwich. Stick. Happen? Oh no, and now he's dead again. Uh, he was a little bit too deep for that. Raven finished off that Schofield, however. That is a pretty good fight. Good comeback for Team Infamous. Now, this game is getting more and more interesting. Peru. That is a fight we can. Wow. Just when we thought the game already over. And then the power of Antimate is right here. Antimate with the uh, Ages of Immortal, he already got his outfly. Without a boot, he's still moving around with 374 movement speed. See how fast his hero is. Hard work with a gem and maybe a four staff and a crown pill boot. Lincoln trigger. That Lincoln fear item is such a nightmare for. For the bad rider, he will be hesitate all the time to do a flaming lasso or, or the target. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. 18 to 22 games on, he's just gonna go for the shrine. Keep in mind for the stats. 
that team infamous never win against him TNC before in the part three match TNC sweep them they didn't even have a single game out of team TNC so infamous this might be the first time who knows Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack and is getting annoying with a blink away and create more illusions I really hate him Dyer's bottom Easy papita. Worthy tribute. You can see in team fight that there was so many times a bad rider standing in the middle of the team fight waiting for the Lincoln Sphere to be triggered. And that time wasted by the waiting of the Lincoln Sphere is actually hurt. The, the tempo of Team TNC a lot in Team 5. I mean, mm, would be much better if he can just dump in and using the flaming lasso right away. But it's gonna be hard now. Could have used his ultimate just to get away from the anti mage. That's not a good sign. I think Abaddon still needs something like a Radiance But uh, it might be too late He might have to go for something more stats And and increase his his attack speed Blade farming around here Can he get away? Being hunted down by the Queen of Pain Blinking Radiant Burrows right Turtle Blade is still inside Oh, oh you scepter Just the last second before he teleport away That's gonna be the date of the Turtle Blade And this it's going to be the good opportunity for Team Infamous to push on top. Catherine is on dominating. See how easy he can take down that, that Teleblade. No buyback for TB as well. Top tower has fallen. Not looking good. You are on TNC side. You know what to do now to to make your team to wish your team good luck. Do it in the chat. In famous Papita, they are fighting each other in a land tournament in Macau. I want to go to Macau someday. A lot of my friends go. They go with Rolex. They come back with Casio. <laughs> you know what I mean. Abaddon just gonna go straight for the barracks. Let's see how they're gonna defend on this one without the tier 3 tower. Abaddon on the front line. Barracks. Half HP's already. They cannot stop. Uh, Catherine just gonna use the Aegis for the first. Core Embrace, already on that anti-mate. Easy, get the wrath. I think uh, an anti-mate going straight for the Medusa. Medusa, oh, ooh, the Winter Curse on three. Look at that. Uh, draw three heroes in the same place. Uh, what a great play by the Winter Wild one right there. And now the Skyride man go down and trying to drag someone back to the bat cave, but it's gonna be all Sinker Sonic wave in the middle of the team fight and right there running out mana sorting for Tim to pop the cheese and he's gonna get his HP back. Where is anti mage? He's right here. Not even in the middle of the team fight, they got what they need, they got the mill racks. Man, that sick ass. Winter Viver and Winter Curse, that was so good. Locked down three heroes behind the tower, and when, when, when he did that, they fight here. And it's gonna take some time for the three guys to get out of the curse and go to there. That is game changing winter curse and you know the, the good thing of that spell is it's a very fast cooldown you can use it in every like 56 seconds 
Nice hook chopped inside. Uh, they're gonna get rid of that, that Winter Wyvern first. It's a key heroes. Axel GD finally go down. Hatsune Miku. From winning to losing for Team TNC, you know, I might have to take my word back that they are stronger in late game. It seems like in late game, the Winter Curse and Anti-Mages affect a lot to the gameplay of Team TNC. If you if you got stuck in the Winter Curse once again, Anti-Mage is going to punish you real hard. Flaming Lasso and a Hex on the... Um, that's not looking good for Team Infamous. They lost their initiators already. Pop the Black King Bar just to get away from the danger. And here comes Axel GD. They are looking for the chance to go for another Winter Curse. Jumped in off the Black King Bar for the anti -mate. Going straight for that and uh, that Medusa, but he was saved. And that's another Winter Curse on the clockwork. Four oh, man Winter Curse once again for Axel GD. He strikes again uh, this time, but it's just not enough damage to take down anyone. We still don't know who's gonna come off this team fight alive. Seems like anti is not looking so good, they lost Queen of Pain, so the anti come from behind with the Mother Void, they almost killed that Skyrod Mage. But nope. 1v3, anti jumped away, creating some illusions, they need uh, the rest of Team uh, Infamous to push out. Uh, and anti cannot just solo kill just like that, Fox up inside, uh, Sonic Wave, and get with a 1 4 3 7 anti was so slow down, he's turning red, was so slow because of the uh, sticking up, but now he's going straight for uh, that Medusa pop up. Blade Mail, he's gonna be five for a while now. Tims need, need to stay close to his teammate right there. Raven, acting like a power for his teammates right here, shooting everyone that come out in his side, that jump in and drag back. It's gonna be anti mate can get away from that Bat Rider. A very calculations of the uh, Lincoln Sphere popped up by the Bat Rider and assist the kills. I'm gonna show you guys the um, fight recap. Uh, Haste. Now the grab is swing back to TNC once again. Hmm. Game. This is actually the first game that I cards in this tournament. And we already got the great game between Infamous and TNC. What else can I say? <laughs> oh, Stinker. 2.2k go in his pocket. Not sure what his next item should be something. Yeah, I would go for something like a Radiance. Not too late to go for the Radiance. That's the Roshan and that's the age is for the Medusa. No. Teleblade. Look at that. Refresh your shot on Teleblade. You can do just two times. Thunder. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance top Bloodthorn, all right, maybe Radiance you guys want to see some items update I'll show you guys every 15 minutes Take a look at yourself Double damage. That is the buyback status no buyback for the Queen of Pain. Antimate still got a buyback. Medusa, hex down on uh, that Catherine. Antimate, a 1v1 fight for the Black Team Barber, or Swipe, Sonic Web, everything on that. The Cuckoo. Can he sleep broken? And he's just gonna go for more. Now it's Skyrod May's turn. He's trying to get away with the Glimmer Cave. Let's take a look at here first. Damage also goes down. Medusa bought back and teleport comes down with other creeps and fighting with Antimate once again. He was stunned now, but no uh, blade mail this time. He keep that blade mail in the backpack. And he might go back in the body back then. Raven, however, got a double kill on that. Antimate bought back right away. 
Where is the anti mate? He about to reach the scene. We take a look at team fight right here first. Coming in with epicenter, quite low damage epicenter for slow fail on a high ground shooting on that Medusa. Medusa anti mate is smart ready for anti mate. He jumped in, ready to do some fight up. Predator, predator, oh anti mate! It's anti mate goes down. He doesn't have a buyback. That is man. Pretty close to GG right here. Two minutes without anti is gonna be hell for Team Infamous for sure. He was kited so hard, he was heck, he was stunned, he was everything. No anti mage <laughs> for uh, like 100 seconds. Definitely gotta be a mech creeps. No Queen of Pain as well. No queen, no anti mate, no hope. And Radiance about to lose an Abaddon. I'll take your tribute. Oh, God. I hate that sound. Wung, wung, wung. Like, when you hear this sound, you know that your base is gonna go down soon. Boom, 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 boom. No, see how far you can take down your racks. This is what happens when you lose a team fight against that, that color blade. Uh, comes in with a wound. Oh, drag back. Let's see how they're gonna punish on that. Uh, Axel GD is about to get away. Winter Curse. And that definitely gonna be a mech creeps, as I mentioned earlier. It's so hard to fight without that course. Anti mate, no. Queen of Pain, no. And that should be another GG. And the record stays. PNC never lose to team in famous in any tournament. Cool, cool, bird strike inside. At least take down some t some heroes. Who knows? They might get the team wide and just straight away push and win the game. No, all sinker goes down. Triple kill for cool, cool. Two minutes before we spawn again for that Abaddon. Go straight for clockwork. Illusion. Oh no. Come on, workers. Keep on shooting. They're gonna I think they're just gonna come back and finish off the, the three. Woo! Almost one hour in the first game of the tournament. It's going to be wild. And um I gotta tell you guys that I'm gonna cast four games today, four games tomorrow. And I will also cast the, the grand finals in the alternative channel. I mean, uh, in the playoff round, you will have the BTS one doing the mainstream job. You know, all the tier one caster will be there, and I will cast in the Beyond the Summit two for some, <laughs> yeah, for my cast. So you guys can, if you want to play off, uh, watch the playoff with me. Just like watching game with friends, feel free to tune in to Beyond the Summit 2, alright? Well, I gotta say thank you to God for giving me this opportunity to cast in the MDL land. Going straight for the Medusa, pop the black team by everything. They're just not gonna give up that easily. Cuckoo down now. Cuckoo doesn't have a buyback. This might be, who knows? What a crazy game we got right here. One, four, three, seven, it's time to go, go, go. Whoa! They are, we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. No buyback for Medusa. Only got a Teleblade. This and Teleblade is going to go straight to the racks. Who knows? This might be. Oh man, the worst game of, this, of MDL and might end up with the base red right here. Come on! Guys, it's time to type down 99 if you with your team to go down. Oh, pop the Black King bar, Flaming Lasso. Animate about to go down, is it? No, but Animate is too strong. He's on the core embrace. What is saved by Axel GD? Animate jumped away, creating some illusion. Now here we go for Papita. 
They could have fall back. Come on. Let's go. Invisibility. Woo -hoo -hoo. You still don't know who's gonna come out of this game alive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is such a um, um, peaceful Friday morning in Thailand. And I am here casting the hottest game in the tournament at right now. Seriously, I think you wanna bet with me that this game is going to end up with a base race. Really? Because if you take a look, no, if they just win one team fight, they can just easily one one hit KO on a TNC. A throne without two towers. It's just like that without that. Queen of Pain. Now here we go. The most important big team fight in the started in the middle lane. The Moral Strike comes in. Everyone just pop the Black King Bar using the Winter Curse. Not a good use of the Winter Curse, but it, who cares? If only they can get a kill. Uh, Catherine in the middle. No, actually, he in front. Uh, Finally, Cuckoo releases his ultimate and Catherine goes down. The anti-mate doesn't have a buyback. Right there. No more anti-mate. He kind of stuck. He turned into the stone. Schofield. Trying to run away. It's still not done yet, but they need to come back to the base alive for Schofield and his teammates. Abaddon come back. Antimate. 15 seconds to buy back. They have to hold it for Antimate. Now everyone teleport now. Antimate, 10 seconds to buy back. They're just gonna go straight for the throne. Antimate, where is Antimate? Where is Antimate when you need him? But no, right now they're all kind of stuck in a power cocks and they're just gonna go straight for the throne. Antimate, need to buy back right now. No. Oh, oh no, he doesn't have money. Then that's it. It's a TT call coming out from Papita. Don't know why am I hyping for it. I thought Antimate gonna come back. Like he doesn't have money. 